Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Adam Off-Road. Dustin here. Um, so today we're going to be installing a catalytic converter. We're going to cut out an old one that uh, I'm going to show you here in a second how it sounded. Um, it wasn't throwing any check engine light codes or anything that it was bad. It was just sounding really, really bad. We're going to cut that thing out today. Um, swap all the uh, swap the OS2 sensor over to a new Magnafil catalytic converter. And then uh, we're going to weld that catalytic converter into the exhaust of this green Jeep Wrangler TJ. Um, I recently went on an off-road trip with my family um, in that last video that I posted and climbing up to about 7,000 feet we just totally smoked that um, cat. It was old anyways. I don't know when it was replaced. It's not the original catalytic converter but uh, the cat you can definitely tell it's been welded in before. So I'm going to take my sawzall and just cut it out and start fresh we'll go to AutoZone and pick up some tubing and um, kind of adapt see figure out try to figure out how to adapt the new cat into the existing exhaust so basically we're just going to do a, a weld-in replacement um, and i kind of just show you in the video how i'm going to do that and uh, um, hope uh, it's, it's what you're looking for so um, this is what the old one sounded like And this is gonna be the new cat that we're gonna install. Let's get to work. Okay, so I'm under the Jeep and I have everything set up ready for the cat which is right here, ready to get cut out. Um, I've removed the 10 bolts. You have three on the frame side right here and three on the other side. And then those four right there were the transmission bolts to the skid plate. So the skid plate's actually right here. I have it setting on a jack and we have it off to the side and I have bottle jack right here supporting the engine trans and transfer case. So let's begin cutting out the cap. Okay, so this is going to be the first cut I made and it ended up being pointless. You'll see later in the video why because of the exhaust hanger there. So I unbolted the cat and tried to hammer this cat off the muffler and it just would not come up for anything. Even though that that uh, joint there was not welded, it was crimped pretty good over the cat's tubing. So uh, I ended up having to cut that side off as well which was not a problem but uh, it ended up making several cuts that were unnecessary so in this next segment you'll see where i kind of messed up and didn't have to make all these different cuts but uh, it all worked ended up working out in the end oh yeah that's bad Okay, so here's my plan to kind of organize everything and get everything back put together with the new parts. Um, I went to my local AutoZone and I picked up some exhaust tubing. This is two and a half inch inside diameter. Um, and I picked up another adapter like this and a clamp as well um, because I actually busted, busted the clamp on the old clamp on the uh, muffler side um, downstream of the cat. So I've pretty much slipped this through when we go over to the Jeep, I'll show you where um, upstream of the cat, um, I've, this will slip right through, we'll make a nice weld. I'm gonna cut right here where this red mark is, and then th that will give us all the way um, up to the end of the cat, and then from the cat, the exit of the cat into the entrance of the muffler, we'll have to um, use some of the scrap material from this and or this adapter. I don't think I'm gonna need this adapter, but I might end up needing it. Um, to adapt this to the uh, the cat to the muffler so um, right now we need to cut this exhaust hanger off um, and cut this piece and then we'll I'll, I'll take you over to the Jeep and we will basically fit everything up and uh, start to make some welds so let's do that first
I'm gonna go ahead and swap out the O2 sensor. You just have to remove this plug. And then let me bring you over here on the cat. You'll have to use a socket. It's a special socket. You can rent this from AutoZone as well. I ended up uh, just buying this one. It's a 7 8 socket, but it's very particular because it has a slot right here for the cabling on the O2 sensor. It's designed specifically to take off uh, um, O2 sensors. And it slips over just like that. And then you can take either a, uh, a socket or a wrench or a socket wrench like this and loosen it up. So I've already cracked it loose and I'm just going to unthread it like this and we'll go ahead and clean that up and swap it over to that hole right there on the new cat. And I'm just going to thread this in now before we start the welding process. That way it's already in there and I don't have to worry about it later. And we'll just go ahead and snug that up. Then I'll rotate the uh, cat I'll rotate the cat upward you can see where it says top right here so you want to make sure that's on the top just like so and uh, we'll go ahead and weld this up I'll probably hold it in position like this and give it some tacks tack welds my welders all set up so uh, let's get to work all this up so I can get on that side and fi basically finish the other half of the tubing and we should be good to go so let me clean this up and I'll get over there and finish welding this up the last part we need to weld on is this exhaust hanger it hangs on the transmission mount there and then you just basically weld it to the tube all right so that's gonna work for that and I don't see that going anywhere so I'm pretty happy with that we're gonna go ahead and just kind of uh, check all the welds over real thoroughly one more time. If there's any pinholes or anything, get those all filled up with the uh, MIG welder. And uh, we should be good. I figured since I'm down here, I'll go ahead and drain the gearbox oil and also service the transfer case. I might do that in another video where you guys can see how easily it's done when the uh, skid plate has been removed. I think that's going to be pretty much it. We have our O2 sensor installed. I did want to mention that um, if you are replacing your cat or doing any exhaust work, the cabling right here goes through this hole. It's like sheet metal bolted to the bottom of the tub. Um, you want to make sure your cable goes through this hole because it suspends the cable up above the exhaust from melting on the exhaust, the wires melting on the exhaust. So there it is guys, got the exhaust hangers all welded up, welds came out good, no pinholes, everything sealed, good to go. So guys, if you like this video, uh, please give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing, helps out the channel, check out some of my other videos that may be helpful to you, and have a good day guys, peace out.